Have you ever asked yourself what is the basic reason for all the different phenomena that occur in your body? Why can we only feel something when we touch it? Or how does our brain respond to all sorts of situations? Well, the answer to all these questions will be provided to you in this video. Most of the occurrences in your body are a response to a sort of signal that has been sent by the brain. These signals are transferred around the body by certain cells called neurons. Now the question that comes up is what is a neuron? A neuron is the working unit of a brain. It is a cell that has been designed specifically to transmit information. A neuron can send signals to either another neuron, a muscle or even a gland cell. Let us start by learning how a neuron looks like. The structure of a neuron varies upon its positioning in the body, but every neuron is made up of the three same parts, namely the cell body or the soma, the axon and the dendrites. The cell body is a portion of the neuron that contains the nucleus and the cytoplasm. The axon is an extension from the cell body that often gives rise to many smaller branches before ending at the nerve terminals and is covered with a layer known as a myelin sheath. The myelin sheath is a sheath made up of proteins and fatty acids. It helps with the transmission of electric impulses causing them to occur quickly and efficiently. If this sheath is damaged, the transmission slows down. Dendrites extend from the cell body to receive messages from other neurons. Now that we have understood about the basic structure of a neuron, how about you take a guess on how many neurons you have? As we humans are considered to be the most intelligent species on this planet, let us study about the number of neurons present in the human body. According to many estimates, it was said that the human body consists of around 100 billion neurons. However, investigative work on the subject was carried out and it was concluded that the number of neurons in one individual is around 86 billion, which is a huge difference from the earlier estimated number. Even though the human body might not consist of the mythic 100 billion neurons as previously estimated, but 86 billion is still nothing to sneeze at. A little bit on some animals. Chimpanzees, which are the closest relative to us humans, consist of just 7 billion neurons. Whereas an elephant, which is the largest land animal, has a number of 23 billion. A mouse, on the other hand, which is very small to compare to an elephant and also shares 92% of our human genome, has only 75 million neurons. Coming to insects, our almost everyday encounter fruit fly and a cockroach has 100,000 and 1 million neurons respectively. Our next discussion will be on the size of neurons. Neurons vary in size from 4 microns, that is 0.004 millimeters, to 100 microns, that is 0.1 millimeter, and the length may vary from a fraction of an inch to several feet. The longest neuron is the one starting from the base of the spine that goes all the way to the toes and has been calculated to be more than a meter long, specifically 1.5 meters in adult, that is 5 feet. The most frequently asked question about neurons is on their classification or the different types of neurons present. As said earlier, the structure of a neuron depends on its positioning but all neurons are made up of the same three features, namely the cell body, the axon and the dendrites. Surprisingly, neurons have not been specifically classified except for its structure hence taking us back to the previous point. Classification of neurons based on their structure is of four different types. The first type is called a unipolar neuron. This has only one structure or one axon that extends from the cell body or the soma. This kind of neuron is mostly found in insects. The second type is called a bipolar neuron. This has one axon and one dendrite extending from the soma. An example is a retinal bipolar cell. The third type is called a multipolar neuron. This consists of one axon and multiple dendrites. It is the most common kind of neuron. It is usually found in the central nervous system. The fourth type is called a pseudo-unipolar neuron. This kind has a single structure that extends from the soma like a unipolar cell, which later branches out into two distinct structures called a bipolar cell. Hence, a pseudo-unipolar neuron shares characteristics of both unipolar and bipolar neurons. As we have come to the end of the classification of neurons, let us get to its working. From previous information, we have seen that every neuron has an axon and a dendrite at two opposite ends. These are the two main components for the working of neurons. The dendrites are at the receiving end, while the axon is the sending extension of the neurons. Information is transferred from the axon of one neuron to the dendrite of the next neuron. In essence, all information comes into a neuron through the dendrites, flows through the neuron, and then leaves to go to the next neuron through the axon. All information is transferred via electric signals. 
starting from the axon and neuron and sends the electrical impulse of data through the arms. Between the two neurons, there is a space called the synapse. Therefore, no two neurons touch each other. They are just very close to each other. During the transmission of the electric signals, it is the synapse that is responsible for the flinging the data from one neuron to the other. This process is known as synaptic transmission. This way, information or signals transfer from one neuron to the next. In other words, a neuron works by being stations for the electric signals. That is all about neurons, folks. Let us conclude by knowing that the brain is what it is because of the structural and functional properties of interconnected neurons. So do like, share and subscribe on this new channel about cells and microorganisms.